All right, so here's the situation. Quantity demand is 100 minus 2 times the price consumers pay. Quantity supplied is 2 times the price producers get to keep minus 20 and the tax is 10. Again, the thing to keep in mind is what consumers pay is equal to what producers keep plus the amount of the tax. So this is PS plus the amount of the tax 10. We can plug that back into our demand equation. 100 minus 2 times the price consumers pay. So that's PS plus 10. So that's 100 minus 2 PS minus 20 or 80 minus 2 PS. Then equilibrium works the same as it always does. Quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. So what do we got? 80 minus 2 PS is equal to 2 times the price producers get to keep minus 20. Take the 20 to the other side, 100 minus 2PS equals 2PS. Take your 2PS to the other side, 100 is equal to 4 times the price producers get to keep. Divide each side by 4, price producers get to keep is 100 divided by 4, or 25. What do consumers pay? Well, they pay $25 goes to the producers, 10 bucks goes to the government. Consumers pay $35 in total. So, let's double check, get our quantities. Quantity supply, producers have Two times the price they get to keep minus 20. Two times 25 minus 20 or 30. How about consumers? Quantity demanded. 100 minus two times the price consumers actually pay. So that's 100 minus two times 35. It's 100 minus 70, 30. And again, what demand is is equal to the quantity supply. That's how we know we're in equilibrium. And that is how you go through and you solve for the price producers pay, get to keep, price consumers pay, and quantity with the tax.